day nine. Willow Creek campsite up the Willow Creek Trail. Back onto Mountain Trail. Back to Rock Lake. Approximately 14 kilometers. Good morning. It's about 6.30 on day nine. Willow Creek has a mouse problem. Seriously. There is a mouse infestation here. We had um, a mouse bugging us the first night we stayed here. Um, and he kept kind of coming around our, our tent. Just running by it mostly. But last night, stupid mouse kept climbing my tent. I caught him three times on my tent. The first time I'm pretty sure he was on my fly, but then the second two times, I'm, well, second time I'm not entirely sure if he was on the fly or if he was on the mesh, but the third time he was definitely on the mesh. Hello, buggers. So, if you ever stay here at Willow Creek, know that there are mice. <laughs> if I ever come back, I'm bringing traps. <laughs> I've just brought you to the privy. <laughs> Longest walk ever to the privy. Because I guess they wanted us to have a view. That's a long way to go for a view in the morning. <laughs> and folks, in case you were wondering, this is what nine days of garbage on trail looks like. <laughs> Pretty cool, hey? You pack it in, you pack it out. Well, I'm ready to pack my bag and tear down the tent for the last time this trip. Well, sun is just trying to peek over that mountain. The clouds are breaking up a little bit. So before we head off, I wanted to uh, do today's announcements. <laughs> First announcement is our packs are super light. Yay! Yay! They're so light, it's crazy. Uh, second thing is today officially marks the longest trip that I have ever been on. Congratulations. Thank you. Very excited about that. And by the time we are done today, we will have hiked 144 kilometers. Wow. That is so crazy. I mean, we may have to walk around the parking lot to hit 145, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we're pretty pretty happy with 144. That's super cool. We could get lost for a kilometer or two oh, of yeah. the willows because there is a willow section. There so, is, yeah. yeah. So we could do that. And we are off. The last 16 kilometers of this trip. <coughs> Look, I'm pretty wet. Morning fog's pretty cool. Well, this spot officially marks us leaving the NBT. Officially, it goes that way. And we are going to follow the Willow Creek Trail that way back to Rock Lake. She's pretty muddy right now. We're officially saying goodbye to this beautiful area. It's a little bittersweet. Thoroughly have enjoyed being out here. I would like to stay, but I'm also ready to go home because there is snow in those mountains over there. That is our cue to leave. <laughs> that rain must have been cold up there. <laughs> 
glad it wasn't that cold where we were. Check out the snow on that one. Yeah, definitely our cue to leave. So it absolutely poured last night, so the trail is slick and sloppy. Kind of like a slip and slide, but not in the fun summer kind of way. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, according to the signs, we've gone two kilometers because here is the warden's gate. It's probably the easiest 2K on this trail. Look how gorgeous that is. It's <laughs> <laughs> not gonna work. <laughs> Come on through, ma'am. Thank you. We found a part of the forest that's not silent. <sighs> Lots of little birdies here. We have walked nearly four kilometers already, and we have now outwalked the reach of that rainstorm. <laughs> Still slipping and sliding and reaching mucky, mucky spots. Quite the storm last night. Gross. still mucky and now it's not only mucky but willowy you know what that means double the fun <laughs> right Barb you betcha <laughs> When I did the West Coast Trail in July, it was pretty darn dry. We were really lucky. We only had one true mud hole and one water bog. I feel like this trail has given me a taste of what the West Coast Trail is normally like. It's pretty gross. <laughs> oh. 
I am kind of glad that it's on our last day though, because then it just really doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, we were making pretty good time until we hit the willows. We've already walked through one swamp hole, sort of dodged another. But yeah, it's pretty mucky in here. And it's just weaving in and out of bogs. So it's definitely slowing us down. But I guess, what do you do? push through and get your feet soaking wet. No, a bird lost its life here. Can't even tell what kind of bird that was. I think it's a grouse. Could be, yeah. Oh, it's got a long beak for a grouse, so. Dinner? Pack it out? <laughs> no, I think I'll wait for uh, A&W and Grand Cat. Yeah, okay. me too. Because <laughs> there are deadly things out here after all. <laughs> We're pretty convinced that there's no bears on this trail anywhere other than Little Heaven and that side of McLaren Pass. Because there literally had been no sign of any kind of bear other than there. I don't think that was a bear though that did that, but <laughs> something deadly out here. Well, we've made it out of the willows and back into the trees. And the, the trail is actually quite a bit drier here right now so far. And uh, we just can't remember if that's the last of the willows or not. <laughs> We're hoping so. It'd be nice if it's just a forest walk from here on out. And even nicer if the trail's dry. Or drier. So far so good. A little tacky, but not boggy. So, I wanted to take a minute as we sit here. What was... The most memorable part of this trip for you? McLaren Pass. Mm. I think that whole day, even though it was a, a long, tough day, it uh, challenges, challenges, <laughs> <laughs> take two. It challenged us uh, quite a bit um, mm -hmm. from just, you know, doing a little bit of route finding, navigating, um, just putting our body through a lot of physical and demanding um, stuff mm -hmm. but once we got to the pass it was definitely worth it it yeah. was so breathtaking up there and we couldn't have asked for a better day mm -hmm. and better company no. I'm so glad that I got <laughs> to share that moment and memory with Deborah yeah it will forever be in my heart and uh, yeah it was a pretty special moment and then the next day coming out <laughs> to ancient wall that was pretty spectacular too yeah. That was amazing. It was my second best day. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I think, yeah, McLaren Pass for sure was the most magnificent. And yeah, like, just had so many moments that day where I was tearing up and felt my heart was so full. And yeah, it was just so special that it was just the two of us. And I don't know that I would have wanted to share that with anyone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this This whole entire trip has been pretty incredible. And um, I think that we've... We have worked together. <clears throat> Deborah's pulling a barb. Oh, I got a peanut stuck in my throat. At least it wasn't a bug. <laughs> Oh, God, that was that bad. All right, take two. <laughs> I think that we have worked really well together as a team. We've had a lot of fun together. Uh, we can laugh at each other, and 
it's been really, really great experiencing this, to just the two of us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'd, I wouldn't want to have wanted it any other way, I don't think. Um, Me neither. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> Back at the river, at the Willow Creek. I can hear it flowing, so it did not dry up. <laughs> But um, our feet are already still soaking wet from the willows and everything. So, I don't know about Barb, but I'm just going to walk on through with my shoes because no point in changing them when they're already soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, it's no lower than it was nine days ago. Now I just got to pick a spot. We're gonna start there. <laughs> come this way. We're gonna basically follow the shallowest parts. Come that way and then head over there. Let's do this. Woo hoo hoo! Basically go that way. Well, I made it. Oh, and my feet are freezing cold now. <laughs> Oh, that's cold. Definitely going to be investing in a pair of uh, neoprene or waterproof socks. Cause holy man. Yikes. <laughs> Yeah! I'm a you are a pro! <laughs> Good job! How cold are your feet now? They're cold. They yeah. were cold before and now they are really cold. Yeah, like Ooh. icicle cold. Ice, ice, ice baby, cold. too cold. Too cold. <laughs> Back to the trail. From what I remember, this should be pretty cruisy from here on out, so I hope that my memory is right. We've hit more willows that we totally forgot about. <laughs> they're dry. Yeah, they're dry. The trail's dry. We've decided to get creative with our bear calls. And we're calling out all the things that we can't wait to have when we get home. We got it! <laughs> With meatballs! And ketchup! <laughs> and cheesecake! I think there's a possibility we saw a bear track just back there. Looked like possibly three paw prints, but it could have also been a Chris print or a Will print. <laughs> but because it wasn't definitely clear, but I think given the dead animals, because we saw a dead mouse too just before it, given the dead animals on trail today, it could, it could be a bear print. <laughs> There's the park boundary sign. We've officially left Jasper. And we are back in the Wilmore. And Wilmar has a climb. What the heck, Wilmar? Well, we've been back in the Wilmar for about five minutes. I'd like to go back to Jasper. <laughs> it's gotten significantly rockier and climbier since crossing that border. Whew. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the bad part about a through hike being turned into an in-and-out hike. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back up. Do you know that once we hit the mountain trail again, it's downhill to the parking lot. I do remember that. 
significantly etched in our brains that first little climb. <laughs> so we have that to look forward to. So as our hike is drawing to an end, just did um, some little calculations and in the nine days that we've been out here, um, not including the Willow Creek Trail because day one there was lots of people coming out and you know it's not quite into the wilderness yet. So beyond Willow Creek Trail, for the last nine days, there, including Barb and I, there have been eight human souls that we know of that have been on this trail and going in either direction. Uh, so there was us two, and then Simon, Chris and Will, Pat and Sam, and Marcus. And if you think about, you know, we, we will have walked 144 kilometers. That's not very many people in that in that span. So, yeah, like I think we were looking for a wilderness remote experience. And sure, it would have been cooler if we hadn't seen anyone. <laughs> but to have only seen six other people total, that's still pretty remote and wild. And uh, yeah, I'm just still so proud of us and in awe of and what we've done here and you know how well we've handled ourselves I don't think we've ever had like a true moment of fear well Barb did one on night two when she thought a man was walking around camp and <laughs> it was bear. we think it was the bear uh, <laughs> but other than that we haven't had like moments of fear or apprehension or like what are we doing out here it's been really natural and just us two girls doing our thing so it's been it's been good I can't wait to continue to do this more and continue to explore these remote areas of our province and our country so it's pretty awesome so in trying to cross that well avoid crossing that we went through the trees Barb slapped me in the face she wasn't listening <laughs> I was walking too close and I got whipped across the lips and the cheek with a, well, I guess it was a spruce tree or something, but I got switched. It freaking hurt. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have welts <laughs> across my face. <sighs> well, at least she waited till the end to hit me. <laughs> we think we're the only ones out here we're pretty sure we're the only ones out here so we have a song for you folks yes ready okay i think we're alone now doesn't, doesn't seem, seem to, to be, be anyone around. around i think we're, we're alone now beating of our hearts is the only sound <laughs> here you have it folks <laughs> That is our glorious trail singing. <laughs> <sighs> we are back at the junction. This is Mountain Trail. Parking lot is that way. But that's uphill, and I swore there was no uphill going back. <laughs> we was wrong. <laughs> Still going up. I have come to firmly believe trails like these do not let you out easy. <laughs> they make you work for your exit. What do you think, Barb? Yep. <laughs> whoop, whoop. This road walk out is pretty muddy and slick. So, I would just like to say to the North Boundary Trail and to the Wilmore, thank you for attempting to give me the West Coast experience I did not experience on the West Coast. <laughs> Thank you for attempting to give it to me now. <laughs> we found the downhill. It does exist. <laughs> Should be pretty much downhill the whole way now. 
which could be fun being as slick as it is. <laughs> I see the end. It's up there. There's a little bit left. Oh, we're almost done. That is the end right there, folks. We've done it, Barb and I. We have hiked 144 kilometers in nine days. That is freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Nice. We rock. That was so awesome. We did it! <laughs> Woo hoo! <laughs> there it is, folks. <sighs> we have made it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why hiking makes me so emotional this year. <laughs> I'm so dang proud of myself. Another huge accomplishment. Kilometers. Man, that feels Ready? Good. Ready. <laughs> Congrats. We did it. Yes. We did it. <sighs> Our last few steps. Hi. And we're done. Well, you know your trip is over when your backpack is in the back of the car. <laughs> this has been an amazing time. We're ready to change out of our stanky clothes and head to a and mm. It feels good to be in clean clothes. Well, I brought a tank top, so I'm wearing my stanky green sweater because it's not tank top weather right now. No, it's but, not. But it still feels good to have clean underwear, clean pants, <laughs> and they smell so good. <laughs> so you know you may have been in the wilderness for too long, filtering water, and like drinking nice clean water. When you take a swig of store-bought water and it's disgusting, <laughs> it was so gross. I we have our A&W. We're going to take our first sips of our pops. Diet Coke and a root beer. Ready? Mm. And that, good. that, my friends, concludes this trip. <laughs> Thank you so much for following along on our journey. Thanks for putting up with our silliness. <laughs> it's been great having you come along.